Hello and welcome back to my video. I hope all of you are doing well. Today we talk a little bit about worldwide covers. So let's get started. USA, an interesting 1899 flag cancel with a year date only. As you can see right here, 1899, no day, no month, all blank in the middle. Uh, it seems more frequently, at least to my belief, that um, U.S. older covers or cancels on covers uh, show the day and month and not the year. It seems like this time it's just the opposite. Quite interesting, I thought. In the Philippine Islands, a January 19th, 1945 Victory first day cover with interesting hand stamp notation of the liberated uh, Philippines right here. Very nice. Uh, never seen one of these before. So all little things kind of add a lot of character to covers. And Philippine Islands again, another nice cover of 1946 in multiple franking, meaning two or more of the same stamp. Always nice to have such type of franking. And Russia, a 1938 cover with a complete set of stamps. Not sure about the postal rate. I don't have a rate table for Russia, unfortunately, and many other countries as well. <laughs> uh, still very attractive and of little better stamp value of $24. And here they're reduced back with the uh, receiving marks uh, uh, because it is a registered letter. Typically always have or should have at least uh, receiving marks, uh, cancellations. And uh, anyways, uh, still a nice item, especially being a little bit older. Andorra, French Andorra. A 1972 Europa first day cover with a nice, surprisingly, catalog value of $25. This one is out of a Michel catalog of 2007. Yeah, even uh, more modern uh, covers do have occasionally a good value. So make sure you look at your covers closely. And Papua New Guinea, also a relatively modern cover, a 1975 airmail cover with a universal uh, registration label with a place of origin, uh, basically hand stamped in violet. Um, so basically they use uh, labels with just uh, the R and the and registration number, but individual uh, communities, cities, what have you, uh, use their own, uh, in this case, violet hand stamp to stamp in the uh, place of origin. Also quite interesting. And uh, of course you have uh, auxiliary marking on the back, another one uh, similar to the one on the front and a transit cancel of another city that it went through. So very nice markings, interesting cover. And the typical Red Cross, as was uh, uh, pretty much customary 
for uh, the British Commonwealth to use. Uh, uh, on the last one uh, to use, uh, uh, referring to uh, registration, that Red Cross, yes. Paraguay, another modern registered airmail cover with simple but effective registration markings, as you can see right here, registrado, and then right here, uh, just hand stamped and uh, also a number. So. Oftentimes, these stamps are mostly found with favor cancels. And for a change, it's always nice to have them on cover uh, legitimately used. And this holds true for North Korea. In 1979, registered airmail cover. Well canceled, again, Stamps mostly found favor canceled. So, yes, quite impressive cover. Um, and also, again, a different registration mark from before. So every country has their own way of doing registered mail. And similar as before, a North Korean cover uh, with New Year's wishes. Uh, this one was also included in the previous cover. A nice uh, New Year's card uh, with the uh, greetings uh, inside. Yeah, very nicely done. And Germany, Württemberg. Back to the old. Yeah, this is a 1893 postal money order. These items, uh, early ones in particular, are much better uh, in catalog value and use condition as they are in mint. So always nice to find these, uh, the front and the back side. A lot of markings, very interesting. And not easy to find, actually. And USA, an 1861 cover marked with an X right here for proper postage paid. In this case, two three cent stamps, totaling six cents, obviously. And the stamps are in all likelihood of the type three. Uh, the perf holes separating or uh, between the two stamps uh, cut right through that line as it appears. So cannot prove it any other way. So I believe that this 1861 cover um, is of the type three. Yes, the perfolds do interfere. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, but that's how it goes. Um, in this case, too, for some reason, there was no enclosure, and the actual letter was written on the back part. As you can see, even part of the uh, cover was missing, uh, just the way they wrote everything. So... Uh, unusual way to do it but that's how it was done so a lot of interesting things about this cover as well well i hope you enjoyed a little of this uh, video and uh, i thank you very much for watching yes even covers, the more markings, the more interesting, and the more character the cover uh, shows. So covers, I feel, is also a very uh, intriguing, uh, challenging uh, way to collect stamps.
my channel, stamp space, my fun things.